Last time, we connected the communication. In order to perform visual processing normally, we need to do camera calibration. Camera calibration is divided into three steps. The first step is to adjust the image quality of the camera. Since the software is optimized on the basis of camera imaging, so we need to adjust the image quality of the camera first, then adjust the software parameters. There are three knobs on the camera. N and F regulate the focal lengths. It is used for adjusting the camera field of view. O and C regulate the aperture for adjusting the camera brightness. W and T regulate focus for adjusting the camera sharpness. We can adjust the image quality by turning the knob. If the field of view is wrong, adjust the focal lens. If the picture is bleak, then increase the aperture. If the picture is blur, adjust the focus. We finish adjustment of image quality. Next, we need to adjust software parameters. First, we need to make sure the image angle is correct. Click Camera Para. By adjusting Rotate Angle and Camera Mirror, we can make the direction of the image consistent with the direction of the physical placement. If the image is still relatively bleak, then adjust Exposure in the camera parameters. Here, Exposure refers to exposure time for adjusting the overall brightness. The longer the exposure time, the higher the brightness. We can adjust it according to the image situation. If the illumination changes greatly during processing, you can select Continuous AE below. The camera will automatically adjust exposure according to the intensity of the line. After adjusting the light source and exposure, and still not getting the image results you want, then you need to adjust contrast gain target. Contrast is the difference between the background color and the material color. If the difference between the background color and material color is not obvious, increase contrast. Gay and target are further adjustments to image brightness. If the image detail brightness is not enough, then increase gain. If the local brightness is not enough, increase target. You can finally make the image clear by these adjustments. If you use a color camera, you can also adjust the saturation and G gain and B gain to improve the color effect. Saturation refers to the vividness of the color. G gain and B gain is the color enhancement for blue and green. Different materials have different sensitivity to color channels. We can adjust it according to the material condition. Wait time is related to machine inertia. The greater the inertia, the longer the wait time that is required. Stable vision is required when taking pictures. The recommended value is 300 milliseconds. After the image quality is adjusted, you can start the second step of camera calibration. Here, speed and power refer to the speed and power of cut cross. The set values need to ensure when cutting the surface of the material can leave easily recognizable scorch marks. Click Cut Cross. The machine will automatically cut across. You can right-click on the image to make the laser head move and overlap the center of the camera's view with the center of the image cross. After the cross are overlapped, click Calibration. The system calculates the offset from the center of camera view to the center of laser head. To prevent missed operation, you also need to enter the vendor parameter password again before calibration. The default password is RDAAAA. If the vendor sets a different password, you can ask them for it. After finishing camera calibration, we move to step 3 of dot calibration. Measure the camera's field of view with a ruler. The measurement should be close to the maximum field of view of the camera. Filling the corresponding values in the width and high. Values of speed and power settings need to ensure that dog can leave easily recognizable scorch marks on the surface of material. 
The dog method can be adjusted in the dog para. Here we choose cut green. Click dot. The machine will cut the grid according to the size of the field of view. After draw is completed, click correct. The system will pop up a prompt. If the dog points are wrong, we can click yes to manually correct it. Manual correction means manually marking dogs that are not recognized by the system. After zooming in the image, click the left mouse button to add unrecognized dogs. Press delete to remove the extra dogs. Make sure all the dogs are identified. Then click calibration again until the prompt of calibration success appears. After the dog calibration is completed, camera calibration can be re-performed according to the situation. After all steps of camera calibration are completed accurately, you can save it as the calibration files. When calibration is required next time, click load to use it directly, and no need to repeat these steps again. Well, that's all for this episode. See you next time.